So welcome, welcome to our Dance Journeys podcast. My name is Birida and, and this is our fourth live podcast. And I'm really, really excited. I have today a Finnish guest. So she's also our first Finnish guest. And, and the funny thing also how we met, we, we never met physically. So I met her through online live classes. So she started to come to my classes. And now also this year, I had a chance to meet her physically as well, which was a little bit, I think this is a new way of this throughout this pandemic life, how we have started to meet more people through online and then later on meeting them physically. I mean, I was also really, it felt like we have met each other for a really long time, but we <laughs> only met <laughs> just for now, which was really, uh, really kind of a crazy feeling at first. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have Yenna Pihkapuro. She's from Kemi and she's a physiotherapist and she is uh, our guest for today. So I'm just going to let you, Jenna, just to introduce yourself a little bit again and just tell already a little bit about your background in dance. How did you find in dance? Hi, everyone. So nice to be here today. So, uh, yeah, I live in Kemi, Finland, and I moved here from Oulu. And um, my dancing background starts uh, 11 years old. Uh, yeah, 11. Yeah, it's been 11 years since I took my first dance classes, and it was Oriental class. After that, I've been participating this and that, flamenco and burlesque and uh, hula dance. Little bit, some, yeah, little bit everything, but I had a um, long break also at some point, and um, yeah. Okay, that's about so, all. So you kind of found dance in adulthood life. So yeah. So uh, did you have, when you were younger, did you have any kind of a, like, oh, I wish I would have started dance or was it something that your interests were somewhere else when you were young? No, I never thought about it. Really. <laughs> um, and I don't actually remember why I participated the Oriental dance. I think it was just something that I wanted something new in my life and I think I was 18 years old back then, maybe 19. But I don't know why I started it, but I loved it immediately. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. So, somehow, sometimes you, you notice that kid, kids will have like, oh, I wish I would have been dancing, but yeah. You didn't, you didn't kind of have that in your childhood, but yeah. maybe it was you, I know that you play also, you, you play music. So was mm -hmm. music kind of the bigger part in your life when you were younger then? Yeah, I did play violin uh, in this musiikkiopisto. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, it took a big part of my life back then. So I don't think that there would be any time for dancing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, you were doing a lot of music kind of on these music mm. colleges or kind of a community yeah. classes. Yeah. Great. Amazing. And also that who are now joining our, our live. So this is a live also in the Facebook at the moment. So just pop all the questions there uh, and we will keep on kind of answering them as well while we go forward. So uh, now that you started dancing on kind of adulthood life um, and you said you had a break, um, how, how has the dancing kind of changed now? If you think about your last two years, how has your dancing and your dance training changed in, in, the, in the last two years? Okay. Um, two years ago, I was dancing maybe once a week. 
um, I took a train to go to Oulu to the dance classes and um, yeah, um, it was about a year ago when you started the uh, live classes and I think after that I have danced maybe uh, at least twice a week or more, so it has increased a lot. Mm. And there was a, also a question on the on the chat as well of uh, how did you find me? How did you find my classes? Oh, um, I think it was the you were coming to Oulu to have this um, weekend classes. I was, yeah, I was coming to that classes, but uh, you had to cancel them because of the COVID. And after that, I found that you were having these live classes and I was like, okay, well, if I can participate, participate you, your classes in all, I can join your in online classes. Cool. Yeah, I think it was on the last year when we were trying to get our workshops done in yeah. with Surra production. And we, unfortunately, of course, yeah, we had to cancel them. I couldn't fly back to Finland. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you found found the classes through that. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and now that you, you've been dancing more, uh, what do you think has been the biggest challenge before? If we think about life before pandemic, because you said that you were doing it a little bit less, what was the difficulty of not doing that much of dancing? What was what did you find that is, is stopping you? Well, obviously it's a location. <laughs> um, it took um, yeah one hour by train to get to Oulu to join the dance classes, so. Yeah, it was a bit difficult to travel and um, well, I guess that um, I was looking for something else at the moment, like, um, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I wanted to dance more, but not just the one dance class. I wanted to participate many, like a Latin reggaeton and all the different dance classes. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't available in Gemi, Gemi. So online classes was the best choice for me. Mm. So it, it a little bit sounds like that when you have started dancing and you did oriental dances first and got kind of mm -hmm. that world you were hoping to find something else but you didn't know at the time uh, mm -hmm. what was it and and kind of wanted to try on different stuff but also the yeah traveling back and forward from gemi to olo yeah yeah it takes a time so yeah i definitely yeah. understand that so maybe now the online platform has helped you and giving you a chance to really try a many mm -hmm. and and have, have you been trying i know that you have been trying but <laughs> do you feel that you have been trying like almost everything that you could have ever want, wanted to try yeah <laughs> i have tried now hip-hop and <laughs> contemporary and all the um, styles that I never thought that I would even ever try or even like and it's been I don't know it's been great to find something new for for my body like a um, different um, league kieli Mm, different kind of movement as well. Yeah. Body language. Mm. Yeah. Cool. And and what kind of styles do you thought like you would have never liked, and now you you're kind of finding it like oh you like that. Well, I was struggling with the contemporary dance first. <laughs> <laughs> because I I well 
I don't know. I thought it was too much like ballet, but mm. I, yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> it's now one of the best dances I like. Oh, yeah. that's really amazing. And I, and I, what I've heard like a lot throughout this which has been almost almost a year, it's going to be soon, that I have run the online live classes as well. It's mm -hmm. been one of the biggest things that I have learned as, as a teacher as well, of people saying, like, I, I thought I'm going to hate contemporary dance, yeah. but now it's my favorite thing what I do. Yeah. And I never, even on teaching a really long time, I never heard that much of that contemporary style. So it's like, it's, it's surprising more people when they started, but I mm -hmm. think that's been the biggest topic. Yeah. <laughs> of people really starting to enjoy it. And it's just mm -hmm. lovely that people have that chance to taste it. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think is, is the things that you feel you are struggling with your dancing or your dance training? at the moment? Um, at the moment, well, oh, <laughs> there's so many things. <laughs> um, well, the main thing might be movement of spine at the moment. Um, I'm trying to learn to figure out how to use my th thoracic spine and yeah and my head <laughs> um yeah i think that's the that's the thing i'm con concentrating right now hmm. so it's, it's being going more on that body awareness again and and yeah. your own kind of a movement language which is yeah. perhaps starting mm -hmm. to interest your yourself at the moment yeah and that comes from the contemporary dance <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> amazing um and the other thing that you you mentioned before when we were talking as well you you said that you you have had problems on kind of being in front of people and and you feel easily mm -hmm. nervous and that when you kind of said that to me that came as a really a surprise for myself as i as you've been you've been coming to the classes uh, and you've been also on, on my coaching so i have had a chance to get to know you more so it came to me a really a surprise when you said that that you feel nervous of being in front of people. Do you, do you then think that, do you feel like you have been a little bit of that kind of person that is a little bit shy of putting herself in front of others, of like perform and being, being there? Yeah. <laughs> and taking that spotlight? Yeah. And, and has, it, has the dance then, how has the dance been helping you this? And when, when do you notice that it started to help you? Well, uh, yeah, uh, when I started my studies at the uh, Oulu University of Applied Sciences and we had this, um, this group um, Ryhmäesityksiä. Was that group works? Or... Yeah, group works. Yeah. And um, I had to say something in front of the class I realized that I was like blushing and shaking and I was almost throwing up and <laughs> it was just terrible. <laughs> I hated the feeling that everyone is staring at me and listening what I'm saying and <laughs> it was awful. And that was also the moment when I realized that I have to do something about it because I can't be a physiotherapist if I'm having so bad stage fright. And well, okay, I was dancing at the moment in Amanasera, Oulu, and um, I was dancing in flamenco and we had the chance to join the performance in the, um, uh, the spring show. Mm. And well, yeah, I went there and <laughs> well, it was terrible. 
<laughs> dancing in front of people was oh my god that was just awful i was almost fainting to the stage but well it was the moment also when i realized that this could be the way how i learned to be in front of people and how i can be mm. like uh, myself yes and yeah the adrenaline after the show was great <laughs> and uh, i was feeling that i want to experience it again even though it was just awful but i don't know <laughs> I just wanted to try again and um I was sure that next time I will do better that I can control more my anxiety and uh, being nervous and everything and yeah mm -hmm. um and after that uh, it really got better <laughs> So have you have you performed after that as well or was yeah i have performed um actually quite many times <laughs> um i never thought that i would start like performing more but yeah i really enjoyed it and i continued to participate the spring and autumn shows and i also had some gigs with the violin we were playing some folk music and yeah and yeah and when you were a kid and you were also playing on that time were you performing any of, of little kind of um, music concert or anything yeah like well? we did, had did you were nervous on that time as well no not at all and not not a bit <laughs> That's strange because I remember that I really enjoyed going to the stage and do the performance and that's it. It was just uh, something regular that we had once a month. So, mm, so the <laughs> dancing part came, uh, brought something new out of you that you recognized like, wow, I'm all... Yeah, I have this little bit nervousness in my body when I'm performing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it comes a, a lot on that sense of like, of course, if it's something that you've done a long time and you go in front of people, you, you're really secure with it. You feel fine. You know, like you feel like I have everything under my hands. This is fine. I know this. Yeah. But when you go in front of people and you're not necessarily have you, like you might not have all the answers, if I can say, like, yeah, it feels like it's something still a little bit new mm. for you as well. You're a little bit getting a little bit insecure, like, of, of what if I did a mistake or like, yeah. mm. what's gonna happen in this? So it might be that that is kind of bringing the. And I think that by dancing. Um, it has increased my self-confidence that I know myself and I know my body and it's easier to throw myself in a different situations. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. And just thinking that dance has gave you that little bit yeah. <laughs> more confidence even on, on going, because when you kind of said that, it made me the whole week of kind of thinking myself as well. I'm, I always have enjoyed performing on it, like connecting with the audience. Even when I think about being as a kid, I liked performing in that aspect mm -hmm. of, of connecting who is ever there watching. Um, but I, I can definitely recognize that sense of like, if you're not really 100% sure what's going to happen to putting yourself out there, that's the kind of the feeling mm. I get like oh my god if I do something now and I don't have the all the answers yeah so I, I definitely understand I think in if we think a little bit about social media part it's kind of in that sense of when you put your pictures or videos out there mm -hmm. or your improvisation that even if you're done it's really putting out there something that you haven't kind of polished polished <laughs> so yeah it is that kind of sense of like okay we'll see what happens 
So mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing that dance has given us, and I know it has, it has helped me in, in that sense as well, like being okay, like, okay, well, I'm, I'm just putting that out there and seeing what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you <laughs> noticed yourself of, have you pushed yourself doing now even more things that you're not sure what's going to happen? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, in all aspects. <laughs> <laughs> in work and everything else yeah mm, yeah <laughs> amazing can you kind of say say some kind of an example what do you think you have done now a little bit more different mm, well okay let's think well okay uh, uploading the dancing videos online. Um, it's something new that I have done this year. <laughs> and well, upload, I uploaded some um, violin videos earlier, but it was a um, step forward to upload the dancing videos because it felt like I'm giving something precious away. And <laughs> I was first pretty nervous that uh, what everyone will think that are they seeing that all the mistakes I make and uh, <laughs> they are judging me and <laughs> but now it feels more natural because it's like um, I want to share the, the joy of dancing and yeah I think it's fun. <laughs> It's, it's definitely that and that, that's what, what we should just should mm -hmm. <laughs> share share the joy we get out of it mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's like life as, as well it's not always the the most polished picture it's yeah whatever can happen can happen and we just mm -hmm. have to be okay mm -hmm. well uh, now that you you have been dancing more and <laughs> I know it as well, and in some some weeks, even almost, I I know that you have dance even almost some weeks also almost every day. You have done yeah. a lot, <laughs> <laughs> which, which is amazing, and you're really committed to it. Now, if you think about your life without the dance, how how would it look? Oh so boring <laughs> <laughs> well yeah um really um i think that well i have these um projects in my mind that i want to do with my body i want to make these performances and i wouldn't be able to do those if i weren't dancing because um i would be so um not connected with my body that dancing gives me a lot that i can discuss with my mind and with my body and create these performances by that wow that's amazing that's amazing uh, and now that we are a little bit ending this a little chat if there's any more questions you can put them on the chat as well but um, what is the things that you are now kind of focusing towards and what's the kind of next thing you are working on now with your dance and with your training and where do you want it to go mm. well i do have this one big project in my mind that i'm working and uh, I want to finish that in a few months and I'm looking forward for the dance classes because it's given me it's giving me so much um, material to work on so yeah I'm creating my project and joining the dance classes <laughs> and the coaching <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's been it's been really lovely to hear about 
a little bit more inside of, of what the dance has, has been given to you and what kind of struggles you feel like you have had and, and overcoming them. And I guess mm-hmm. in every people's minds are always of, is dancing for me and can I do the dancing? And, and like you said, it's, it's about a lot of just kind of finding and trying out mm-hmm. kind of fit for you. What would you say for people there now listening of if they feel like they're a little bit struggling with the same things that you have been struggling with? What do you would say to those people? Uh, well, it, well, 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 mm. it's just the one big step that you have to take to go forward. And when you take the step, things get better, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the journey of just going step by step forward. And, mm-hmm. and and discovering different things mm-hmm. but you have really have open-mindedly also tried on different classes is there something else that you think might have helped you to find what is now really working for you in dance wise mm. I I don't know. I, it's difficult to answer. <laughs> mm. Well, I I feel like that. Um, doing all the different styles. Well, uh, giving is giving me the most because. Um, I don't know how to say it. Hmm. No, antaa kokonaisuudessaan niin paljon enemmän, että <laughs> sorry <man. laughs> yeah, So it, it's, it's helping you to find the kind of the bigger picture, what's yeah. happening, and, and then exactly. kind of choosing what, where is your interest going. Yeah, and exactly. What you kind of trying to find. Mm-hmm. I can pick up the interesting stuff from everyone, everything. Um, yeah. And I think that's the, the best thing to go for it in dance is, is because there is so much and there is so many lovely teachers and, and it's, it's just about finding mm-hmm. what works. For, for you and what yeah. interests you and when we're getting it's different it, ages as different things might interest so it's mm-hmm. the time just having that little exploration of trying on new things yeah okay. yeah do you feel like you still are looking forward to just trying on different things Oh uh, no, um, I want to do the contemporary dance. <laughs> <laughs> But besides that, I want to try everything. <laughs> yeah. So you, you have kind of found now the thing that is really inspiring you. And mm. At then, the moment. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Amazing. Well, it's been really lovely to have a little chat with you. And I hope everybody who is listening there as well has, has got something something different about and maybe something to think about from this little chat. And also, also later on, if you have any questions, you can always pop them under the chat. We will uh, answer them. And, and I will also share them with Jenna and, and ask if she has some other answers she wants to share. But otherwise, now I'm just want to wish you all an amazing evening or a day or whatever time you're watching this even later on. Um, and then we are going to have the next podcast in the next month. So once a month, I'm going to invite here one of our committed dance. I call them dance lovers because that's what I, I think. What do you think, Jenna? Are you a dance lover? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we're going to have another dance dance lover coming up on the next next month as well.
But thank you, Jenna, so much for your time and, and sharing your, your experiences and sharing your story really openly. I hope this is going to give a lot of value for other people. So thank you, Jenna. Thanks. <laughs> it was nice to be here. <laughs> Good, and we're just saying now bye to everybody there who is watching us alive and who is watching us even later on. Thank you guys and see you soon again. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.